Colin says, hi, everybody. Um, this month's topic is on grooming. And Ferminator was kind enough to send us some products to try. And since Colin is so short-haired, we got a curry comb uh, for short-haired dogs and then a dual brush. Um, so we're going to give those a try. The first product they sent us is the Step 2 comb, which is a curry comb, uh, mostly for short and medium-haired dogs, um, which you use in a circular motion to bring up any dander or dirt and so on like that. So we're going to go ahead and give that one a try. I don't have to go very far to find my dogs. Um, they're pretty much couch potatoes. This is Remy's couch and this is Colin's couch. So I'm going to get somebody to film us brushing him. I was just brushing him. He was really enjoying it. There we go. Here we have Acacia is grooming Colin with the curry comb. And this is uh, we usually do them on the couch. We didn't get the video on the couch. He loves, loves, loves this. When he's like sleeping, we go and go and do this. Do it in circular motions, Acacia. It's like, oh, does that feel good? So um, we started doing this every day with him. It's just amazing how much hair comes off this short-haired dog as far as shedding. Um, don't have to vacuum quite so much. Look at he's just really liking that. Does that feel good, Colin? Anyway, as far as bathing, we bathe him about once a week, uh, but not always because he's in the pond pretty much every day. So we pretty much bathe him when he smells, and that's about it. And he's liking that. It's like, oh, that feels good. <laughs> the second product they sent us is a dual brush, um, a Ferminator dual brush. It has pins on one side. And that's for dogs that have silky coats and it has just regular bristles on the other side, uh, which is for removing debris on short-haired dogs, which is what Colin is. So after we use the curry comb, we're going to use this to uh, get rid of all the stuff that the curry comb brought up. Okay, now we're using the double-sided uh, bristle brush. It has the pins on one side, which we don't use on Colin because that's for silky coated dogs. And this basically just gets all the debris off that the curry comb got up. And he just really enjoys this. When it comes to trimming toenails, um, when we got Colin, his toenails were extremely long um, due to inattention. So we're not able to do them very often. He's pretty good about it when we do, but his quick is uh, grown out really far. So he does have some really long toenails, unfortunately. Oh, he's so enjoying being brushed. Mm -hmm. He loves that acacia. Mm -hmm. Does it feel good, Colin? Like, yeah. Now he's all shiny. So, yeah, I really like the Ferminator products. The curry comb. I have curry combs for horses, and uh, they don't work anywhere near as well as the Ferminator one does. Yeah, if you do if you do it like on his hindquarters, it's like oh that feels so good. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to put his tongue back in. <laughs> that feel good, Colin. Ruby's like I love you. <laughs> he just farted on me. <laughs> 